recording. And the thoughts that for many people aren't easy to... And honestly, it just isn't easy in general, but something that... It's good to... To go through. Maybe not in, you know, if you're... <laughs> I, I don't think anyone here was going through these feelings for the first time here <laughs> tonight, but... Maybe stream possibly not the best place to, you know realize some of these things for the first time, but definitely a good starting point. Not to realize, but like to discuss it, I guess, if you're realizing it for the first time, but... Where's my stuff? I'm terrible at this. Oh, no. But more in the sense of... No, I just won't light it. A dream of a great tree reaching out through the night. Half of its branches crackle with light. Oh, there's our greens. Oh, interesting. I don't... That's one... As someone who loves just mythologies and stuff, I've... I've done a great disservice to mythologies by never really having engaged with Nordic mythology. <laughs> and I really... I really need to go back and kind of read more of that. Yeah, it is. It is. I, again, I, I'm not really much of a, of a survivor. Well, I guess, I guess I am now, but. I had never really been into any survival games, but this one... I've been really enjoying. Sometimes I'll just build stuff. It's cool, too, that it does give you... And I, I'm still gonna be looking for the bosses and stuff like that, but it's cool that they give you something to do, because I was mentioning this before. Something to look forward to or try to look for. Because my issue with a lot of the survival games is that I felt like they were... there wasn't much of a point to them. And that's why I struggled playing survival games. the workbench. Oh. I think this is fine. I'll just close this off. Yeah, cl close it off right there. Subnautica also has a story beats, connective tissue, so to speak. I've heard a lot about Subnautica. And the fo the forest is one I, I almost bought. The forest is one I almost bought multiple times because <laughs> I had heard that. But it, it was, just, especially since I had stopped streaming, it was never something I was like, oh, I'm going to buy this, especially when you're not, you know. I really didn't do much buying of games for myself. I guess in general, too, I just don't usually do it that much. It really was more of a... I do end up buying more games for streaming than anything else, really. Okay, now what I'm gonna have to do, I'm just gonna have to build a, a second workshop. Right here. I like the music for this game, too. I like the little flutes. Whatever wind instrument it is.
But yeah, those are two games that I... I thought looked very interesting, and because of that, because of it having story and guiding you a little bit more than, say, like, a Minecraft or something, which was, up to this point, the only survival game I had really played. I tried Conan Exiles for, like, a little bit, and it really wasn't my thing. And I kind of want to do more of that. I want to try more genres that I don't usually enjoy, but with dif different games that offer different different aspects to the genre. One genre is MMO. <laughs> which I honestly would love to try. I kind of want to find an MMO that I enjoy. Hopefully not one that has a subscription because I can't I can't do that. Uh, that's just a little bit too much for me. <laughs> but Really? The last piece, I was gonna close it off right here. Oh, I think that's fine. At least it lets me reach. Well, I guess I can reach it from here, too. I know. He, Kyle has suggested quite a few. But I, I haven't really liked a lot of them. I've gone through a few. It just hasn't really caught me. So I was also planning on trying one because I got I got a free key for for one of them from a friend. I'm not sure if I want to reveal it yet. Maybe it will be a surprise, but I might be streaming that at some point soon. Put some food in my belly. And I need to find, find tin. I really need to start. I think this one is a tin. I need to start labeling them. You forget all your bindings. Yeah, same. No, pig! I'm trying to domesticate you. Get away. Eat these mushrooms. Alright. Tiny knife. Yeah, there are a lot of things like the food that I really enjoy in this game. And I've also mentioned this one before many times. <laughs> Love the graphics of it. I really do. Even though it's so simple, but... I don't know, it really gets me. This is another Unity game. I like all the effects it has. Like A lot of people don't like Bloom and stuff like that, but I think it actually adds a lot to the atmosphere of this game. And the grass, too, is very good. So mechanically, I really enjoy the game. Although I think that they... Obviously, this is a brand new game. It's been out for six weeks. I think the progression can be worked on a little bit better. Exactly, yeah. And then they look like asset flips. We were talking about asset flips earlier. Especially when you wanted something to look very realistic, but you don't quite have the budget or time or team to make that. It kind of just comes off as cheap. It looks like how we're talking about uh, Ark. Ark to me looks terrible. <laughs> I really don't like how that looks. 
please tell me it's tin. Tin copper. Okay, I should label it. I am on a copper. Oh, this is a different one. Copper. Oh. Need ten. Keep pressing the wrong button. That's the problem too when you're playing a bunch of games and they all have diff completely different bindings. <laughs> you just mess up every single binding. But, but yeah, so I like, because I think more than high fidelity graphics, it's art style. You can have crappy graphics, but have fantastic art style, and that'll be okay. Like, it all. you don't need to have cutting edge anything, and you'll be okay. Because it also makes it harder to run. A game like art runs terrible on lower end stuff. It's also, it's terribly optimized. But you'd think that this will, would probably run better than, say, really? And the... I'd be okay if it was only one dude, but then they have the... The guy that heals coming in. One too many slashes. Man, this little knife. But yeah, I definitely want to see an improvement more in like the progression. Because it's very confusing right now. Like I got the the forge, but I didn't know that I had to mine multiple things for me to have the ability to build more things. I thought like I had no clue. Yeah, yeah. Although, for... <gasps> Skelly Boy! Oh, he's running after the... Hello, Skelly Boy. Missed. There are... I th it feels to me that this happens more with 2D games. But I feel like... Games that have... Oh, he didn't... pixel art or something like that if the pixel art is bad it can look really bad or like just the 2d art is bad it can look very amateurish just because i think you can make something that looks like you know a second graders and depending on the thing is you can do it on purpose and it, you can or you can just be really bad at drawing if you're really bad at drawing it, it's gonna look cheap and kind of like eh. one of the the games i don't like and maybe I'm wrong on this one, but one of the games that I sometimes look at to as an example of this, but that I think I haven't played it myself, but people say it's a fantastic game, is uh, Salt and Sanctuary, which is like a was the first 2D Souls like, first big 2D Souls like that people talked about and stuff, and. I really, really don't like how that game looks. That, that's one of the, where it has like, I like the, the art design, but not the art style itself. I, I, I don't know. That one just doesn't, doesn't work for me. Find ten. So at least from my experience, if you're gonna go for 2D pixel arty or something like that, some in some situations, the quality of the drawings themselves might. Yeah, exactly. I don't like the heads. I don't. It looks like Flash games from mid 2000s or early 2000s. That's what it makes me think of. Like, 
a flash game a kid created or something like that. And I don't like that. I don't it looks amateurish. It doesn't look like and the game is supposedly really good. But for some reason there are some looks that I just can't get over even if the game is good. And that's one of them. It's just so unappealing for me. I'm just like, ah, I have a hard time connecting with the game. But. So for 2D games, I think that that. Okay, so I need to name this so I know that it's copper. Copper. I need tin. I remember seeing tin somewhere. Just don't remember where. I don't like that tin is so rare. Especially if you need it for progression. Oh, this. The color change of the fog gets me every time. I love it. Yeah, so... That's the situation in which I think the actual look of the textures and stuff like that matters a lot the more on the 2d 2d side not as much in the 3d where you can have something low resolution it looks like this It'll look great and i think this game something we were talking a few weeks ago this game does something similar to what an Octopath does, where they put these old-looking textures and models with high-end post-processing effects. And it looks gorgeous. I think that that's the way to do nostalgic, older-looking graphics, is mixing it up like that, like, going forward. That's kind of the... If you're not going for truly authentic old looking ones because sometimes like say uh what's it called ah, shovel knight where they stick even to the limited color palette of the nes you can do something that limits truly limits to what the whatever platform was and it looked fantastic and that it becomes in some ways even better because of the fact that they limited themselves to make something, and still come out with something that looks so good. Really far south. I guess I could explore this area. the dots meant. See, I need to- I really need to name the things I should just put out. Go here. Let's see. Just go west. Go west. I feel like I hear something walking. Is it me? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Dodge me. Ah! 
Ooh, and my food running out. Whoops. What game was I playing that map and inventory were switched? Not switched, but probably were all under tab. Because I'm just... I'm just pressing tab for everything now. Where are they fight? Oh, they're fighting the Skelly Boys. I like how atmospheric it just feels. Uh, it makes you feel like a, a lost woods kind of vibe. And being that, you know, it's a procedurally generated thing, you are kind of lost, especially if you didn't have a map. Are they fighting through... fighting through the wall? <laughs> Stop fighting through the wall. Yeah, they were totally fighting through the wall. Where's my shield? Oh yeah. There we go. I hate these towers and their dumb ladders. They never work. I could build. Mm, where is it? There we go. This is your. Oh no. You know. There we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Getting really dark here. Please let me climb on this one. Oh yeah, and aim up and aim down. Please let me aim up and down. group huddle. Yeah. You know, that's not welcome here. We stand for no affection ever. <laughs> Probably the most untrue thing I've ever said. Being a lover of hugs. Cold. Oh, I should have fixed my thing. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Never mind. Good thing I have two weapons at the time. Yeah, yeah. I I think they removed the, the feedback form from the game. They used to have on the main menu, or I just haven't seen it anymore. But they used to have feedback, like, do they? On the main menu. But I feel like I stopped seeing it. And that was one of the feedback bits I sent them. Like, please, if I look up, make it so they hit up, look down, so they hit down. And I'm hoping that that's something that they fix with the upcoming update. They've said that they're applying a lot of the things they've heard from the community. So I don't know if this will make the cut for this update, because I'm sure, especially this being one of their... What's essentially going to be what their first major update, kind of going going into the game now. I don't know if it's going to get every, if they're going to get everything on the first pass, and probably not because I'm sure they've heard a lot of stuff. Oh, 
pigs. Yeah, no, they're tiny. They're, I think they're like a six person, six people group. And that's including even non-programming related. I don't know exactly how many programmers. They might totally just have one. <laughs> but yeah, if it's one guy, ooh. <laughs> Feel bad for the guy. Feel bad for the guy. Because... Hey, he wrote some very good code here. Again, obviously this is a brand new game, so a lot of room for improvement, but for, for kind of the first release of the game? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. I am sorry, whoever you are. Where are they based from again? forget their country it's Sweden yeah I, th I know it was one of the Nordic countries it was that or Norway I think I think but Sweden okay and and good on them, good on them, making a game like this, that just, you know, so loved already. Six million people. That's crazy. And it really shows that there's still room for, if you're making a good product, if you're making a good game, there is still room for you to be accepted and wanted. Like, there is definitely a saturation on the gaming market. But sadly, we're saturated with a lot of bad games. <laughs> so if you make something good, you can totally rise above. Now, sadly, there are games that like, maybe are good, but they just don't get the press. They just don't get the attention of people. There are a lot of good Nordic indies. Yes, yes. wonder why. wonder what part of their culture or their society kind of lends more to a focus on this. It could be that they're, they're just in the cold for most of the year. Just a guess. Yeah, exactly. It's just dark most of the time. T-Rex, where if you don't move, they don't see you. Why am I not seeing a life bar? Oh, it's because I'm not playing. Where are the others? Another thing. You can't hold the hammer. And... Oh, there's a lot of people here. I didn't see I didn't have food. <laughs> yeah, I have the problem with a lot of games. I just have that problem in general. I never look at my health. I never look at my health. I forget about it. I just completely forget about it. I remember when I was playing Overwatch a lot. You know, you, you kind of have to watch your health. Especially if you're a tank, you gotta watch your shield. I wasn't watching any of it. I was just going. So. Oh, it's just West. That was the one thing that I had the hardest. With everything, I'm a very much, I zone everything else out and I'm doing one thing. I can only be doing one thing. So it's difficult for me to be like, okay, I'm paying attention on that and that. So RTSs were some of my worst games. Although I did pretty good with StarCraft, but like I would could never be a pro. Like, I got really good at focusing on one thing at a time. But because of that limitation, I would never be able to 
be thinking about all the things that I need to manage and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Just play Protoss, right? Yeah, eventually in Overwatch, I kind of... It wasn't as much I was looking specifically at how much health I had, but if I got hit once or twice by a few, I'd know to back out more than me actually looking to see. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful about this, because I died right in front of a bunch of enemies. I'm just gonna have to go in and get out. I like that you can... Ah! You can stack things for you to equip, too. Okay, eat. This game uses so good. I don't need trophies. I'm sure I'll need some of them at some point, but. Oh! I wasn't even paying attention to his health. Probably should go back to base because I'm full. Go back to Mother Base. <laughs> Still so sad that they didn't use the original voice actor for Snake for the last Metal Gear game we're probably ever gonna get. The last real Metal Gear game. They're probably gonna make a bunch of, well, they didn't make Metal Gear survive and that was atrocious. But now that Microsoft is thinking about buying Konami, oh boy. <laughs> Microsoft might be, if they do actually go with that, they might be going a little bit by crazy. I mean, they can, but... Never good. Honestly, it was... If you really read everything, it feels like kind of both, but the story that most people went with was that they ditched Kojima. They did do a bunch of horrible stuff for him, but I don't know how much horrible stuff he did back or not. Because that, you know, once everyone sides with someone, it's sometimes it's hard to find stuff going the other way. But it did, they did objectively do some really terrible things to him, like, legally not allowing him to leave the country, which... How, can you do that? In Japan? <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know. But, like, he wasn't... He wasn't allowed to make public appearances. In, like, anything related to gaming outside of Japan. So it was like really weird. It was like really weird stuff. Yeah, pretty much everything kind of sided with him. Because Konami was also just doing horrible stuff to other people as well. It wasn't just him, so. Okay, I need to I need to figure out a better vision of these things. I think that these things need to go to their own. I have an empty one. Oh, that's meats. I think I have an empty one here. Yes, this will be. Yeah. I don't know. 
don't know if... But I have heard too that they... I do know some people too that live in Japan. Some family members even lived in Japan for a while. Not anymore. They got a little bit too tired of the work there. Thankfully they were able, like, they weren't there permanently. They wanted to work there so they could get to know this culture and stuff, especially with that side of the family being Japanese. Uh, or of Japanese descent. But th they always eventually came back, saying it was a little bit too much. Especially if you're going for a job... Going there for to look for a job like that, you end up not getting the best jobs. But... Yeah, because I know you, you also lived in Japan for a while. Somewhere I, I feel like I would love to visit, but I don't think if, I've, if I'd ever want to live there. Same thing for Korea. I think it'd be interesting to visit, but I don't know if I'd ever want to live there. From everything I hear, when you really get down to it, a lot of people just seem very unhappy. For multiple reasons. Multiple societal reasons. Alright. Probably gonna be winding down. This was more of just a... Well, I tried looking for tin, which I really needed, but... That didn't happen. Can confirm it's great for a short medium stay. Oh yeah, no. There is a big contrast. <laughs> People trying to destroy my stuff again. I don't think they can go up there anymore. I love the effect. One thing that, completely tangent, but these sounds made me think of that. One thing that I kind of am starting to itch to want to play again is the Animal Crossing. I feel like going back into it, especially now it's been a year that that game came out and it's been a year of pandemic, woo. Um, <laughs> but it's two more, right? They did, but all of it is not major, major content. Like, the last major content was... Because they do holidays every time. But the last major con permanent content in, this, in the game, I believe, was swimming. And that added a bunch... Not a bunch of... So it added some things you can do in the water. But it all boils down to just more collecting. And that, as I mentioned before, it doesn't really have a goal. But it, it actually... I, I was surprised how well how long I stayed with that game, given that all previous uh, Animal Crossing games, I kind of played for a little bit. I was like, oh, this is boring. But it might totally have been because of the pandemic. I, like, really didn't have anything to do sometimes. It's just like, oh, Animal Crossing. And it was, like, a nice routine you could have in a moment where you couldn't have normal nice routines <laughs> where you're going out and you're doing things so i think that maybe that was the value that that game was bringing but <laughs> got bored pretty fast yeah that's usually what happens to me when i'm playing when i played the previous ones because i always like people are like, oh animal crossing is the best game so i will always give it a try but it, it never worked but for this one it did for quite a while i think i played for I played for, I think, six months before I dropped off. And at that point, like, that that's when they were adding the swimming, but it wasn't really that interesting, so... But yeah. Alright. So that's gonna be it for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me play Sea of Solitude and now just chill with some Valheim. I enjoy finishing with Valheim, it's always... 
good time to just talk. Yeah. Well, Dieter, I hope you have a good weekend. Everyone else, too. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your time. Yeah. Have a good one as well. And I'll be back streaming on Monday. So, I'll see you all there.